What's up, guys? It's your girl, your age, Lachey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, guys. In today's video, I'm just showing you guys how I achieved this look. This is the, I have some knotless, some crochet knotless braids in the back. And then like a rubble band down to the front. Y'all, I tried my best. <laughs> but if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, continue watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Beauty A. Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I'm using today in this video. I'm honestly not using much. And that is all that I'm going to be using today guys. So, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by sectioning off my hair. I'm just separating my hair in the front. Um, I'm gonna start with the back. So I am not an expert in knotless braids. So I seen this rubber band, not rubber band, this crochet method of the knotless, and I want to try it. This will be my first time trying it, so bear with it. And um, box braid my hair in the back. So let's start that. Okay, guys. So I'm just trying my very best to part my hair in the back. Um, honestly, part of my hair is, especially in the back, is probably the hardest. Like in the front, it's you know a little okay, it's a little better, but in the back, oh my goodness, it gives me a headache because I can't see and it just never comes out perfect. I'm gonna part my hair and I'll be right back, guys. Now let's get to this front. Okay, so in the front, I'm just gonna be doing like the little. A rubber band method like you know like my parts and then I'm gonna connect them um, crisscross I think it's called the criss um, crisscross rubber band I think that's what it's called but that's what I'm gonna be doing in the front so let's get started okay guys so I start off by section off my hair now you don't have to section off your hair like this you can if you want for me it works better for me to just work from one side to the next that's just like that's just how I like to do it but after I section off my hair I'm going to start off with my boxes but I do put a little bit of oil on my rubber band just so it won't pull and tug onto my hair as much so yeah Okay, so with the rubber band boxes or crisscross rubber bands, whatever you want to call them. Um, so, it's pretty easy. So, you just part your hair in how many sections you want. Two, three, four. And then you connect your boxes together. Remember guys, when you guys are doing your boxes, make sure your boxes even out.
all right so when we connect them guys i just kind of twist it a little bit so it won't look like you know a hot mess but i twist it and then i crisscross it and connect it to the one in the back So I'm finally done with my little rubble bin um, boxes. And these rubble bins are mad cheap. Like, look at this. Bro, look up. Yo. I don't got time to go back. I'm so tired. And I didn't even start braiding my hair yet. But we gonna get it done. Okay, guys. So when I start this crochet, way i honestly did not record too much because my phone did die so i'm so 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 sorry but this is what i got um so basically i just pull the hair through and then once i pull it through i do unravel my hair up into like the root so and then i just basically just braid it down regularly i don't even add any hair you can add hair if you want So I'm almost done. I have four more braids to do. But on this side, I switched it up. And I even did like a little card. Oh, Okay guys, so for my front braids that are connected to my real band boxes, I am going to be adding the hair to it. So I'm going to basically be showing you guys how to do it. So it's basically easy. So I just get my piece of hair and I connect it. Well, I put it in the middle of the middle piece and the right piece. And then I just connect the right piece to the right piece, the middle piece to the middle piece, and I braid it down. I hope that explains it well. I hope you guys get what I mean. And I'll show you guys again how I did that. So finish braiding down, add the piece to the middle of the middle piece and the right piece, connect the right piece to the right piece, middle piece to the middle piece and braid down. And it's simple and it's easy. Trust me, once you get used to it, it's easy. Yes, y'all, I'm done. I'm done. I still gotta do my edges, so I still gotta dip them, but. Y'all, when I'm done all that, I'm going to show y'all the finished look. The finished look, guys. I would give this style maybe like a 6.5 out of 10. Um, the rubber bands I got were cheap. And I should have known because I got them from the freaking dollar store. But honestly, I thought because they were thick that you know they were gonna last but when I tell you my rubber bands kept popping so I had to double and triple the rubber band so it can last well we wanna see how long this lasts me but other than that it's alright it's it's giving but comment down below what you guys think 
So I did put some drizzle oil on my scalp. This is the drizzle oil, pineapple mango and hibiscus by craving something natural. Um, if you guys use my code Asia buy to get one free. So, but this is going to be the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Bye, guys.